I think the first time I self-harmed, I found a needle in my room and I just drew it across my skin. And I remember the sight of blood and feeling like I had discovered something. It was a relief. I had found something that could help me, almost. I guess I was trying to cut away a part of myself. I was trying to kill the monster inside. Sometimes I just wanted to see blood and see my skin and know I was still alive because one of the things I struggled with is feeling unreal and feeling like I wasn't human or I wasn't part of the world. I have burned myself with a cigarette, I've burned myself with my straighteners. Burned myself with anything from a heated piece of metal or um, cigarettes were another very common one. So I would headbang, I would use needles and um, just press them into my skin as far as they would go. I bruised myself, I scratched myself. I punched the wall, I trapped my arm in the door, I threw myself downstairs and that pain, even though it hurt, I liked it because it's almost a physical pain detracted from the emotional pain and it made me forget all about it. Literally, sometimes I will feel this desperate need to tear off my skin because I cannot stand to sit in it. And it's, it's the most torturous feeling of being trapped in yourself because there is absolutely no escape. And yeah, sometimes self-harming gives that illusion of, of breaking out, almost. Every scar has a meaning and it. it's like a sketchbook when I look at them because it's so much on the same arm and they cross over so many times and it is like they tell a story. When I self-harm, it's like you're in a scary film and you finally come to the end where something happy happens and you're okay again. People cry, I can't cry. My blood is my tears because I can't cry. There's no way for me to show emotion that isn't self-harm and I wish there was.